Thank you so much for joining me today. As you can see, I have decided to get a little bit of a jump on uh, the coming month. This uh, cover for this journal has been um, niggling, and I've just decided I'm going to just get past this niggle today. All I'm going to think about is um, this cover, because I have uh, three-fourths of the uh, contents for this journal, uh, 2016, 2017, and 2018, and then uh, in another week or so, I'm going to start uh, making the uh, signature for uh, 2019. Everything was ready but uh, me being willing to delve in, and now I'm there. Okay. So, I took these bits and, uh, and bobs of things that I have been saving for at least five or six years. And I'm thinking that they, uh, they are making a, uh, a nice start on this, uh, on this cover. So, I thought I'd make a pocket on the cover, and I'm going to put this here. But, uh, let's not jump ahead. Let's not be accused of jumping ahead. I uh, took time and... Uh, <coughs> Collaged my brains out on this cover and pushed it back with some gesso, and that's what we have left. And it has certainly dried spectacularly. This morning, off camera, I uh, raised these and I tucked in some um, Saran Coat black, uh, black paint and a piece of uh, the two papers that I bought this year for, at um, uh, AC Moore, and I glued those down so I have the inside of my cover and uh, it's as ready to go as it's going to get because it's going to be rather a thick one so that will work and I might put some pockets in here but that's not uh, that wasn't my plan for today so let me tuck that away I don't know how that got to be where it is but it's here I'm going to be using um, I don't use Mod Podge, I use Collage Podge um, because number one, it's matte, and number two, it doesn't, uh, it dries completely, it doesn't leave that sticky feeling. Um, I got that uh, idea from Paula uh, on YouTube, and thank you, Paula, very much. I've been happy since I've been using that all the time. And now I'm thinking that I'm going to uh, get another piece of probably my last bit of wax paper from this bunch and uh, kind of tuck them in here out of harm's way so that I can uh, start collaging because I have such a pile of pretty and fun stuff on my desk and uh, I'm trying to make some sense out of it. Well, you know what can happen when you do that. So, collage podge, here we go. It is. Alrighty. And my brush that I use for um, uh, uh, mixing for media um, and uh, collage page and matte medium and collage page, but I've picked up uh, this for this job. And now, let's see. I think. I'm going to put, nope, before I do that, I'm going to play a little more. Around the outside edges of this, I'm going to do some, um, I'm going to do some stenciling because it's quick and I'm quick and I love the way it looks. So, I need to, I need to uh, put that aside for a moment. Goodness, where? Alrighty. And... I'm going to use the uh, stencils because, uh, as I said, it's quicker. Now, I'm going to uh, use a little uh, black and uh, rain gray 
uh, surround coat and two sponges and we're off to the races. This one because it's uh, doesn't make any sort of statement, and let's have just a little bit around the edges, just the tiniest bit here and there around the edges. hope that you're having a, a pleasant day. I've forgotten the uh, amount of Halloween that I had uh, been collecting. It's going to be a fun, it's going to be a fun October. of the, uh, the book. Let me just uh, pop on some. Okay. And now, just a little bit of uh, black here and there. Just a bit of black here and there. This is behind the pocket, but I'm not sure. So let's just let's just do it to it now. Just a little bit here. Okay. And some more over here. Here. 
layer, a layer under control. And let me put this over by the door since I don't want to have any calamities. with the inside. Not that you can see both things at once. So. There we go. first. Where is it? Here it is. this because, uh, well, there's really no point in that because of the uh, unevil, uneven ground uh, because of the, uh, because of the uh, collage underneath. And I don't mind if this pops up a little bit here and there. No, I don't. Now, this is going to go here. Yes, it is. Let's go over now. Let's go over to this side. Let's see the order for these. Mm, okay. Okay, Pussycat goes here. I remember that much. That one might go there. This one goes here. And maybe that one. That would be right on the fold. I'm not sure of that. I'm not sure of that. No, I'm not. And I don't know why I want this on here so desperately, but I've had it for a few years, and this is the year. This is just the year. Now, problem here, problem here. straight in. Instead of being a tuck, it could be a pocket. It could be a pocket. Yes, I think so. And then this could go right there. Okay. Problem solved. Good. Good, good. Now, I put that there. 
the fold of the book would be right here and I wouldn't be uh, causing any particular calamities. see what happens. Let me see what happens. So this one is going to go underneath. That one is going to be number one. This one would go here, and this one could go here. Yeah. This is going to take a lot of a lot of collage posh. <laughs> Let's not do that, Carol. Let's not do that. It's definitely not. Up there at all. Put that ear. Put that ear down. Put that ear down. Yes, I think so. on this work top for me. The queen of neat can uh, can find this quite overwhelming.
hoping that this doesn't dry too flat because I like the uh, the wonky look. Now, maybe this one. I could go right there. Or, right here, popping out. This one needs to find its home first. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. I must say that adding that little bit of uh, acetone to this has made this glue so much more cooperative. more cooperative. Yes. And then this and I have something I'm going to put down the center I think okay let's get this going now let's see where we are right there sewing attached. that too far on the fold. I'm thinking maybe here and I'll have to think of something or not. This is a start. This is definitely a start. And it will work. I'm going to uh, clean that brush. I've been using that brush for years and years, and I have been diligent with it. And uh, I would be hoping that these, uh, some of these go down, but not all of them. to my cleanup session. All right, let's see where we are now. This is going to uh, get a chance to dry and I'll have a think. And I want to put these, here's uh, 2006. Here, which 
2016, not 06. There we go. Now, these are when I was just starting to... Uh, I was absolutely brand new at, uh, at junk journaling. This was still in my art journal phase. And this was uh, the beginning of uh, junk journaling. And this was when I was starting to get a little bit of a handle on, uh, on junk journaling. Okay, so that one goes here. And then we have one more place for this year. But at least it's starting to say Halloween journal. And now I want to uh, share what's up here. Because uh, I'm completely in a quandary as to what uh, and where and how. Oops, let me turn that over. Let's see. I was thinking for this, for this year's signature, Look what I forgot to put on there. All right, I'll just have to get that back out of the depths and uh, put that on. Or I will forget it, and I think it will look quite pretty there. So, was uh, thinking that this year I wanted to uh, I wanted to work the signatures around these these are uh, tattered angels glimmer misted uh, craft paper I thought, wouldn't that be a nice basis? And I also have these, same thing. And I'm thinking something here. That might work well. Anything else? Anything else hiding? Oh, I also have this one. My, my, my. Okay. Food for thought. Food for thought. The basis. But then, I have uh, some more of the uh, inside cover pa papers that I might want to keep with that. And this one. Might be nice. Yes, it might. And I had invested in this one and never used it. So this one will definitely have to show up somehow, some way. And I want, these were gifted to me, and I want to use these two definitely this year. And I've had that for ages, and I don't know what's going to happen, if anything. But that might work. some pages. I've cut out some bits of uh, not too many left. I've cut out some bits that might be nice to add 
here. And I have these uh, frames. Had those for ages. No sense hoarding them. And some cutoffs. Oh, okay. It just never ends. Just never ends. Oh, and all of these that I have and haven't used. That looks like fall to me, so that's not going there. That's going there. And these. And I have these. And some leftover bits. Small pieces. And I think and pure black, shiny black. And tissue. So you can see that I'm not uh, some vellum. Have to have some vellum. Absolutely necessary. And that's a heavyweight vellum that came in a commercial bit. But this is, um, this is uh, strange. This is heavy, heavy, heavy paper. Almost feels, uh, I don't know, like an acrylic. Now, what's that? Oh, this got away. I don't want that to get away. I can go with the rest of the family down here. Okay. And is there anything else? Well, certainly there is some bling. I'll have to add a little of that to the cover when it dries. And some pieces I've pulled out from, from these two that were uh, seriously on sale. And bag of uh, my bag of goodies some fabric and ribbon and but that's not all there is because there's some more ribbon collection there that I absolutely love and I think I'm going to be uh, declare myself look at this I, this was another thing that was gifted to me and uh, that's absolutely going yes here so, that's my plan for the Halloween signature. And so, that's going to go in here. Some pieces of paper. Hmm, okay. Some pieces of paper. That obviously can be used. And this, I didn't realize that I, uh, that I had, maybe. Alrighty. If you have enjoyed sharing this uh, experiment with me, I have these three stamps. And let me get the uh, let me get the journal cover. If you have enjoyed the start here, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, share with a friend, and I would appreciate your subscribing to my channel. Be back when uh, the season comes probably uh, after October 1st. Bye now.